anywhere in the world. It's on your actual com <laughs> actual computer. And again, so that could possibly lead you to feel a little bit more secure about it. But in any case, bank feed may be a little more difficult to use versus the online version connects to the bank very well. So both of them have the ability to connect to your banks, be able to pull in the data from the banks to your system. Uh, however, because the online version is online, it's more of a seamless type of process uh, to do that. So the desktop version is pretty good. It's not, it, it works, it works almost as well, but you might have to take one extra step to say, I want you to import the data uh, from the bank feeds. And also when you update the software every year, you might have an, an added step to make sure that the bank feeds are properly aligned whenever that happens. Whereas the, the online version, once you set it up, it's pretty much uh, connected uh, pretty, pretty nicely. Add on apps may be more difficult to use for the on for the desktop versus the online for the same reason desktop version you might have access to add on apps that might give you more special features within QuickBooks. Uh, but because it's a desktop software, it might not be as easy to integrate certain types of apps. Whereas if you're on the online version, then you might it's easier to set up the online version, you would think to be able to be adoptable to other add-on type of apps. Now you want to be careful with what type of add-on apps that you're going that you want to be using. I think the online version can also lead people to basically do things that they probably that they might not want to do or might want to think about a bit more before using other types of apps and whatnot. But th so there could be pros and cons with that. But in general, if if you're trying to look at other integrations within QuickBooks with other apps then uh then you then you might it might be easier for some of those on the online version than the desktop okay so once we if we choose the desktop version then we get into what kind of desktop versions do we want so the standard desktop is the pro premiere plus so that's going to be kind of equivalent to quickbooks online but the desktop version that's the one that's for small to mid-sized businesses which uh, is as you would think into it seems to be steering those types of businesses towards the online and that's where the question comes up are they trying to steer everybody off of it and then cancel it right so that and so but it's basically the same format as the enterprise but the enterprise is for the more advanced uh, companies or bigger companies that have specialized type needs so so it's still good to use any desktop version if you want to learn it because the advanced version, the enterprise version doesn't look like it's going away because it's going to be there. And all of the normal stuff that's in Pro Premier is also going to be in the larger packages. It's just that the larger packages have more specializations. So within the enterprise version, uh, then you have options such as the general business uh, contractor. So they have enterprise that's going to be set up more specifically towards the industry of contractors, manufacturing and wholesale. So there's special needs with like contractors because they might have like a job cost kind of system, for example, and manufacturers might have a process cost system, which have special types of needs as well as wholesale versus retail sales, not for profit, could have specialized needs. So at least the terminology for not for profits is gonna be sometimes different. Uh, then the for-profit professional services and then retail. And so these are kind of like the subgroups of uh, QuickBooks Enterprise that you can go into. So the, again, the general tree that you want to think about when thinking about the software is what company do I want to be working with comparing like Intuit to other providers of the software and then within the company or even uh, this might be your first question, do I want to use online cloud-based software or desktop software do i want the software on my computer or do i want it on the cloud and as you think about that question you could apply that then also to the the different companies like intuit versus other companies cloud-based cloud-based versus desktop desktop and then and then if you decide on a particular type such as we here on the desktop if we choose the desktop then the question is, what kind of desktop version do I want? These are going to be a lot more similar than if I'm looking desktop versus cloud-based. Desktop versus cloud-based, very different. They're almost like completely different software. You almost think of them as though they were different companies, right? 
because they're going to be very different look and feel, although they'll have the same kind of general functionality. When you get into just the desktop, then you're kind of looking as though you, you have one tier level and then they're giving you perks as you, as you change. That's one way you can kind of think of it. We're not going into the different aspects of the online version because this course is focused on the desktop. So now we're on the desktop version and you can say, well, you have the basic version and then you can kind of upgrade to the enterprise. If you upgrade to enterprise, then you have specialized uh, fields that you could have just your general specialization and you might even be able to specialize above and beyond that as you go into these uh, the more advanced enterprise uh, users, usually for larger companies with specialized needs.